Hello, my name is Jermen and um, I'm going to just quickly demonstrate how the restake offset letter CLI works and um, the commands to um, to grant permissions for restake um, so that you can auto compound. Um, I'm going to use stargaze as the chain in this example. Um, but it should work for any of them. Um, I also have a more comprehensive video where I do it for three other um, networks with a bit more tricky um, uh, tricky setup, but it's, it's, um, it's pretty much the same for all of them. So the first thing you need is the Resec uh, Offset Ledger uh, CLI, which you can find here. So you go to latest releases and you find one uh, for your platform. So in my case, uh, I'm using Linux um, MD64. I was not not meant to do that. I'm just gonna right click, and what we'll do is we'll download this CLI. Um, what I also have ready here is um, my ledger device, which is connected, um, opened, and um, currently on the Cosmos app. Um, itself which you'll need. The other thing you'll need is the add stargaze address that you want to enable this for. So I have it here. Um, yes, so let's do it. So yeah the what you download is a um, um, it's a tar ball so I'm just gonna unpack it and then you just run restake also the ledger and grant. So the first thing it does, it's just fetching some networks um, and some information about those, which will which the CLI uses later. So here, here you will be uh, shown the different networks that are supported, um, and well, some of them might uh, not have um, have offsets uh, on yet, but. In any case, you'll find it here. So I'm gonna choose Stargaze, and I'll copy paste in the address, and it will fetch the validators that uh, I could use for this. And I'll select that one, and I get this uh, instruction set. So it's a useful to just take this and copy paste it into a um, into a text file, since you might this might get scrolled up quite a bit eventually. Um, what you can see that it says here is that um, it was not able to find any binaries, but um, it did find the source code repository, so we're gonna open that one um, and download the latest one. So version 3 here, and we'll look at... Um, this one only has one for Linux, but building for this is also incredibly easy. Um, the only thing you need is to have Go installed, um, and and that's pretty much it. In fact, um, I could do that right now um, because it's um, sometimes easier to just build it yourself because then you'll um, then you definitely have Ledger support and all this. So I'm just going to git clone uh, this one, and we want version three. So I'm going to check out that tag. So I'm just going to open. Here and then do git checkout for version 3.0.3.0.0. So it's opened in that, that one and then just make install. It's typically all you need to do. And you can see it runs go install and it uh, has ledger uh, activated and everything you need. This typically just takes a few uh, moments. And then it will be also installed. So it, this gets installed into your uh, Go path. So if I do where is uh, stars D, you can see that it's in my Go slash bin slash stars D. Um, so now it should be working here, and the version should be three zero zero. Okay. Now we can do the first command, which is um, to add the ledger. Um, so it's connected, but it's uh, of course uh, shut down while I was waiting here. So I'm just starting it and opening the Cosmos application. And then we can simply copy paste this ideally. 
and it just adds the ledger uh, ledger's public key to the to the key ring here. So when I click this, uh, you'll have to go to your ledger device, and it will uh, ask you to add the address. So just have to do OK on that, and then type in a password for this uh, key ring, and it's added. So now um, we'll do the first uh, command which is to uh, grant the validators bot address which is this one access to withdraw rewards on your behalf they will not be withdrawn to their uh, wallets but to your so it's just like you doing it but it's they, they have permission to do it on your behalf so we'll copy paste this copy pasting skills of mine need some improvement copy paste this and let's see here. So the first thing I'm noticing is that and this happens for uh, some of the networks is that we don't have the fee or DNAM um, available uh, in the CLI. So what we'll do is that uh, we'll use a website called um, Cosmos Directory, which is brilliant at uh, all this information. So we'll just we can either find it here or just search for stargaze here. And if we go to the chain tab, it will have the denom here, the U stars, which is typically what it's called. Um, I don't unfortunately know what the minimum uh, gas price is, gas fee is here, but we'll just try something like 0025 uh, U stars. And if it doesn't work, it will uh, you'll get an error message anyway and you just try again. So let's try this. To we'll ask for my key ring passphrase uh, and then uh, if uh, if I want to sign this. So when I click yes here now the on the ledger device I will get the transaction up just like when you uh, use Kepler for instance. So I just need to confirm this transaction on my here and you can see that it's um, that went through uh, okay so it's the gas fee was accepted um, what we can do now is that we can go to for instance mint scan or um, one of the explorers uh, let's see what which one this has uh, we can use mint scan it's easy easy enough might sometimes it takes a little while for mint scan to update this but you can go in here and search for the transaction and you'll find that it was indeed successful and what you just did which was grant uh, withdraw delegator reward here to uh, this address right here which is um, the validators bot address which it uses for for this action All right so we have the first one uh, ready to go and we just now need to finish this off with the final grant which is to uh, delegate on your behalf so again, it's the denom here, but now we know that it's 0025 works at least, and it's U stars. So we just do the exact same thing again. We confirm, and then we sign it on our ledger device. So we'll just go through that and approve. And here we go. The transaction went through, and then let's take a look at mint scan. Yeah, it's already up, so that's excellent. So now, ideally, we should also be able to do a query here um, for offsets and grants. Um, and we want to check our uh, address, which is the, the one we used earlier, and the grantee, which is the, um, the validators one. And we just need to add a node at the end here, uh, so it knows where to, to get that. And we can see that we have indeed granted two uh, messages for this one, which is the um, withdraw and delegate. And you can also use this, I will add um, functionality to this uh, restake CLI to, to check this more easily and also to to remove those permissions. But you can do that um, with the CLI itself. You just need to, to look through the um, CLI to find out where it is. But it's quite easy, so it's definitely under the transaction. It's a subcommand to the transaction. 
and it's going to be under auth set as, as well and you can see here you can do exec which is executing on behalf grant or revoke so it would be revoke so we could just do revoke and then look at the help here so it's um, revoke the grantee the message type and from which will be a letter and then you add, just add a node and everything which you already have but I will also add add um, add this later to the restake CLI so it should be um, very easy to do but uh, in any case the, the the risks here are minimum because they can't really take your money the worst absolute worst thing they can do is withdraw rewards from other validators and grant them uh, and delegate them to themselves um, which some validators um, have done but not through restake uh, the restake um, setup does not allow for that or does not do that in any case so it's um, as long as you're using the restake validators you should be okay for this and that's it um, if you have any questions or problems you can reach out to me on Twitter uh, where I am Jan Bionas um, so feel free to reach out to me there and or um, on the uh, discord for um, for Restake, where I'm also at, you can find all this information in the blog post here. So at the bottom, I have some contact information. Um, and if you have problems, you can also always create some issues um, here as well. So I hope that was useful and uh, happy auto compounding and uh, have a nice day.